Sustainability is at the heart of Western Power's business plan in any event, that when it comes to property, we have a corporate policy of new build buildings being BRIAM excellent and significant refurbishments being BRIAM very good. Clearly, energy costs are only going to go one way. We're building a building that we think will last us 50 to 60 years. We need to do it as well as we can today to reflect those ongoing costs in the future. Obviously, on this particular project, integrating such a high um, BREAM standard into the project was part of the challenge of how we actually approached it. This is one of the smaller sites we've looked at. Uh, however, the accommodation on the site is quite extensive uh, for the depot's requirements compared with the site size. Um, so it was a bit of a tight squeeze getting the planning in uh, for the facilities required. One of the main challenges was the distance uh, to the site from, from our central operation. Uh, trying to source a local supply chain and uh, staff to work on the project and just to manage it perhaps provided a little bit of an extra barrier that we had to overcome. The biodiversity aspect was uh, fairly straightforward. Um, we had a decent landscape architect on board um, to assist with uh, getting the number of plant species up. We generally went with a fabric first approach um, with high U values to the floor, the walls uh, and obviously the cladding and the roof. And then we encouraged the main contractor to build to a tight uh, air tightness figure, uh, which Spell has managed to achieve. Uh, we produced a BIM model, so all the areas and calculations were done off that for ordering which then obviously minimised waste on, on site. The early engagement of a BREAM assessor can really pay dividends in respect of not only the, the overall rating that can be achieved, but also the additional benefits of that, as I, as I mentioned, in terms of, of, kind of the indoor environment for its occupants, the lower running costs. The experience of our design team, and obviously when the contractor comes on board, in this case spellers who demonstrate a very, very high intellect in, in, in their understanding of BREAM, you're almost designing the project back to front. So you've got to think of what is the end product and then integrate that into the start of the project. Education of, of the site team and, and having a guy on site, a site manager, who buys into the, the sustainable criteria of the project and, and the levels that we're trying to hit. It's definitely a team effort to get to BREAM outstanding. Some of this point scoring um, you de definitely need to work together uh, as a cohesive party. The fact that, that the building is free from any particular bling, um, it's a basic building, it's a building that anyone could replicate. Um, there's nothing particularly special about it. My team have performed incredibly well um, from the design through to practical completion. Everyone's worked together to produce a building that does what it says on the tin. Uh, we were very uh, happy indeed to uh, achieve outstanding uh, on this particular building, especially is it's quite a commercial property. Particularly getting a high score in its category and outstanding was, was something that I think all the team found uh, as great satisfaction and pride. We can take away our experience and intellect we've gained on Spilsby and deliver that in, in other markets and, other, uh, and other, other conditions. It's an accolade that uh, we're very proud of. Definitely, but it's, but we're under no illusion that we couldn't have achieved it without the input of of everybody else and the way that everybody bought into the sustainable building that Spillsby is. It is performing as um, predicted, um, slightly better than predicted. Um, Say so financially great, staff-wise, the, the the guys are over the moon with the building. They love it.